Hey guys, and welcome back. As you can tell, this is a Christmas related video, holiday Christmas guide for you guys. Um, I am going to try to get a video out per week for the holidays, so if you have any requests, let me know in the uh, comments below. So today I'm going to be talking about a gift guide. Now, there are lots of gift guides out there for him, her, um, you know, mom, dad, brother, sister, but I don't really see much for the anime lovers, um, you know, stuff like that. So I thought I would compile a list of some things that would be a really good idea to give the anime lover in your life for Christmas. So the first thing is a subscription service. Now, if you don't know, a subscription service is like a monthly subscription that you get really cute items or anime related items or really kind of any items. They have them like, you know, with Ipsy and Birchbox and all this stuff, but they also have some geared towards anime fans. And they have Kawaii Box, Mimi Box, which is more towards the Korean um, makeup and they do have some Japanese makeup so you know if your friend is into the K-pop J-pop kind of stuff that would be a good one for you um, Japan Crate and Japan Crate is freaking awesome let me just tell you um, an anime bento you can have figures accessories snacks as well as Japan Crate you can get such cute stuff and candy and who doesn't love candy also another great subscription you could do is get them a 30 day Crunchyroll subscription because if your friend is like me I love watching anime on my days off and when I just want to relax and kind of get away from reality so I watch anime and Honestly, if someone had given give if someone gives me so if someone gave me a Crunchyroll membership for even a month, which is you know very cheap, it's under ten dollars. Like you, the real MVP. You <laughs> like seriously, you win hands down. And I think all of these subscription services would be great. And you can choose how many you want to give them. You can get them just the one box so they can see. Or you can get them a first, the first one and the second one. Or the first three. Or you could just splurge and get a whole year from them. It's really up to what you want to do and your budget. So, I mean, you can personalize it any way you want to. And if they really like it, they can always use that and get their own so I mean everybody wins and you get cute stuff so why not um another good thing is um merchandise from their favorite show now it does not have to be expensive I know figurines and a lot of things are expensive but if you go to Tokyo Otaku mode you can find some very affordable items from every genre of anime, horror, comedy, slice of life, everything under one store. They even have like the cute, cute kawaii stuff that everybody loves. I mean, who doesn't love plushies? I know I do because I have an obsession and I am not proud, I am proud of it. <laughs> so anything from Tokyo Otaku Mode is going to be way more affordable then turn you to go on Amazon or eBay and fight with some other person and then you're not even knowing if you're getting a good product. With Tokyo Otaku Mode, you know what you're getting, you know what it looks like, and you know it's going to be good quality. So I highly recommend them. They're always doing sales. They're always doing something, you know, I literally get um, messages in my inbox on a weekly basis of sales they do, you know, giveaways, all this kind of stuff. So, it's definitely a place to check out. Also, if your friend is into Japanese fashion, Tokyo Otaku Mode has 
Japanese fashion items, which is awesome. Because if your friend is into, you know, visual K or Dunso, you can get them some really cool stuff. Even they have decor items. They have fairy K items. They have all kinds of stuff. Like, you can just get it for someone who really likes cute stuff. Like, they have that. It's ridiculous what kind of wide range of things they have. They have stuff for home, for, you know, going out. They have stuff for bentos. They they just have everything. Like, seriously, it's a one-stop shop. Go there. You will not regret it. Wigs. If your friend is a cosplayer, which a lot of anime fans are, wigs are going to be the most amazing thing that you will ever receive. I'm just saying because a cosplayer can take a wig and create an outfit from that. So you can get them maybe a wig that you said you saw them eyeing online or they're like, oh my god, this wig is so cute. I just don't have the money for it right now. Oh, I wish I could get it. You know, something like that. Be sneaky on their Facebook, creep them, stalk them, you know, you know, low key and see what they've been posting because maybe there's a wig they want for their certain cosplay and you can get it for them. Um, I love going on eBay and Amazon. They have really good deals on wigs. Also, another really good place is Epic Cosplay Wigs and they have really affordable wigs and they're very versatile. You can get hair extensions, the little buns, the little ponytails, like they have such cute stuff. And they have wig stands. So you can also get one of those, which is like a dollar, and help your friend keep their wig nice and brand new. You can also create little custom boxes for your friends. You can just take a normal little cardboard box, maybe like paint it and put some little anime stickers or cute stickers on the outside, a little bow, and then fill it with their favorite things. And Japanese candy, American candy, um, maybe a manga that they've been wanting, a DVD they've been eyeing, a cosplay item, maybe some like cat ears because who doesn't love being a cat? Like, it's just so cute. Um, and maybe some custom art. You don't have to spend a ton of money on this. This is literally so affordable. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, mangas are about $15. That's, pro you know, mangas and DVDs, they, they run a little expensive. But if you get a good deal on them, like Tokyo Otaku Mode, you c can save a lot of money. And then you can find either Japanese candy or regular candy, maybe candy they really like, or you can make candy, which is very affordable. You know, get them some little cute cat ears or something for cosplay. If they cosplay, put it in there. And either if you're an artist or you see a really cool like art that you see on Store Envy or Etsy, you know, how about the artist? Because they work their asses off and you know, they deserve to have their art shown. And if you're an artist, I know it's hard to get your work out there, but you can create a custom art for your friend. Maybe they have like a ship that they like or, you know, OTP, whatever, and draw that for them or whatever. Also, you can create them as their favorite character. My best friend Domi actually created a art of me as Nymph from Heaven's Lost Property and I kid you not, I started crying because it was so awesome. She took the time to make it look like me but also like in my Nymph cosplay. Like I have forever kept this piece of art from my friend because she took the time to create it for me and that just also adds a personal touch. You can also do that with cards. If you're still stuck on what to get them, maybe you're, you know they like anime but you're not exactly quite sure what genre, what kind of stuff they like, you can get them a gift card. You can spend however much you want to and create a cute card. Like, 
get some little cute anime characters or you know you know stalk their page and see if they have anybody that they've posted that they particularly like and put you know put it on a card just get some cardstock and some printer paper you don't even have to use sticker paper you can use it and just create a card and that alone will be such a touching gift I have cards from people that I'm no longer friends with or that I no longer keep in touch with that I keep forever because the person took the time to create it for me and so I'm going to keep it till the end of time because you know when someone sits there and creates something for you it just has a lot more meaning so definitely with all these guides and all these gift ideas create a little something you don't have to be the best artist you can pretty much just take some cardstock fold it in half print a little anime character that they like and just put glitter all over it i mean you don't have to be an artist you don't have to be super talented i mean it's the thought that really counts and the more thought you put into a gift even if it's something simple like hey i got you a subscription to crunchyroll you know you can't really hand it to them be like here you know just let them know and that means so much to people um you can just get them a gift card if you want to or you can just even make them a card if you can't get anything you can't afford anything you know you guys are having hard times the holidays are rough for a lot of people so I mean, even if you can take the time to make a card for that person that just shows you how much you care that shows them how much you care and that you wanted to do something special for them so I really hope this guide helped you guys out to help you find the perfect gift for your anime lovers. I'm going to have all the links that I mentioned below. I'm not sponsored by anyone to say any of this. These are all my honest opinions and sites that I have bought from before and all this stuff. So, you know, nothing sponsored, nothing like that. And if you guys would like more gift guides or different holiday videos, let me know in the comments below and I will do that and try to get a video out at least once a week for the holidays until Christmas. Um, I have some great videos planned and I'm very, very excited. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you like anime, give it a thumbs up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Happy holidays and I'll talk to all of you very soon.